Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, and this is a pre-primed, now dry, 18 by 24 inch canvas. And I guess making those pale colored sky stripey scapes I made recently has made me brazen and brave. So I'm very interested in giving myself the opportunity to do it on a larger canvas. And the reason I'm making the sky so interesting is because I want to add some blue in there and then I want to pour over it and we shall see what happens because I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula to move paint around and give myself a wet layer of paint. I'm trying to remember to do the edges too. You can just push your spatula back and deposit some paint. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm hoping that it'll work well. Because I like skies that look like they have a lot of clouds in them. Big puffy white clouds. And I've been looking at Another artist who's a palette knife artist on my Instagram, Richard Claremont, I believe his name is. And he makes some insanely cool skies. So, he's my muse at the moment. That paint went right into my reservoir. And I don't want to waste any of this. That was, the, bl the brighter blue was the um, Arteza Electric Blue, which is one of the colors that I noticed him using, which prompted me to do this. Now, I don't know how much of this sky is going to be left. There may be none left, but I want to start with something that gives me an opportunity to do that. And I'm going to have to be pretty quick at my decision of what to pour and where. And then I'm going to tip, and I may learn a whole lot of things the hard way. <laughs> You can never tell. So, heavy enough layer so that it can not only be stay wet for a little while, but also so that it will facilitate me moving any paint that I add in. So it will flow. And that looks like a fairly decent start to me, except for seeing that canvas over there and over here. And I just want to move that down a little bit because I think the land is going to be kind of on the small side if at all. If I see canvas I'm going to make it go away. I like having a little bit of the blue on the spatula so I can get creative with my cloud shapes. I should just leave it alone and not do what I planned on doing at all but I think I'm going to do it anyway. I hope so. Okay, so one spatula, the paint's still on it that I may or may not need. Let's knock that off. Knock it off, put it on, knock it off. Can't make up my mind for nothing. Move my stool out of the way so I don't fall over it. I've got space enough on the bottom of this canvas to put down some Anita's White Metallic into a container. And I am seriously thinking about shoveling some paint under the canvas, but I'm probably also going to use, I don't know, we'll see what happens in a minute. This might be a complete farce. What I really want to use are some wild colors, some yellows and some golds. And I don't think trying hard to make any kind of pattern will serve much purpose. This is a color shifting red from Folk Art. This is my color shifting purple. Purple Flash from Folk Art. And these are going to get dumped. They may get dumped right out of the container if I don't like how the shovel works. I may just go there anyway. This was open a moment ago, but it's not open very well. Oh, it's still coming out well. That's good. So if I put the paint into the colors in the pan, not in stripes, it will still become stripes on the canvas because I'm going to be tipping sideways. 
none of this makes sense to me right now. That is a, oh gosh, that's an Arteza Metallic Golden Hour. And I'm just going to put all the colors I want in here right now, and then I'm going to add some more white. Because I can. And I'm even going to take a little risk and put some of my residual magenta in here, which is crazy because it's such a strong color. But I'm going to also put some of the hot orchid in because I want to see what they look like next to each other for a start. Yep, there's definitely magenta in that hot orchid, but it's not the same color by any stretch of the imagination. This is a tangerine from Arteza. That's a good color in there too. All right, so now it's time for me to pick up what I just dropped. Now it's time for me to put some more color in on top. I kind of want a little bit of gray in there, and I think instead of actual gray, I'm going to use some silver. And in this case, it's just drops, which is okay, because that's a really pretty pan of colors. Okay, then. No idea what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Alright, so if I put that in the middle, why don't I just put it where I want to? And then I will try. You know what? I wanted some white paint under there, but I can actually add some white paint here. Left-handed even. That's the Anita's white metallic I'm using instead of the white I should be using. Alright, I'm going to start with these colors because I could make any kind of painting with these colors and I'd probably be happy with it. But I'm going to start with these right now, what I've got. And see what happens with my idea. Whoops. There's another edge catcher caught under there. Let go! Thank you! <laughs> I'm right-handed in general, so I'm tipping toward the shadow side, and I'm sorry about that. Once I get some paint on there, I can always squeeze white paint into the puddle to make it go further back across the other side. And I may very well do that. We'll see how far it goes first. You know what? I'm going to do... I lied. That little attached cap is the bane of my existence sometimes. Now, I want to integrate the, the puddle of white paint, so I'm going to tip it back over. I kind of hope that once it gets to the other side that I can then tip it up and spread it out a little. But I guess we'll see in a minute. I don't usually try and do this part with my right hand, but in this case I am. Um, I would like that edge catcher to... No, it's not a right-handed thing for me. I think I might be secretly ambidextrous, and I'm not positive, but... It just seems that way sometimes. Now I've got some nice color right here and OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula and a gap in my sky which I really shouldn't worry about but I like changing up the pattern of things and I'm not without appreciation for those patterns and I think I'm going to go lower and higher and dribble across because I can. So let's grab as much white as I can see here. And that did not stay a lot of white. So I'm going to throw some more white into my shovel and see what happens with that. Got to experiment to figure out what's going to work. That is what is happening. I didn't 
use that. Where's the one I was using? It's right. No, it's not. Okay. I guess I was using a different one than I thought. It's a little dangerous. You know what? I really want a short card so I can just do that center section. And for that, I'm going to grab something from this pile over here of edge catchers. And that is still seemingly too big. That's okay. Because once it gets over there, I'm going to let it tip up and down. And maybe merge. Whatever I drip my paint onto is something I can usually also scrape it off of. I am loving the patterns I'm seeing. They're not specifically stripes, but they're pretty cool. I should have made sure I had an edge catcher that was big enough. That one is decidedly small. Come on. I need to tip up. I'm not doing this very gracefully. I'm sorry. I'm not used to 18 by 24 inch canvases. I also think I like that white. There's the... Uh, I think my camera's held on, and I'm going to grab a straw. <coughs> I think I need a dribble. I see that dot. And I like little clouds. And I don't think I can blow that out. I think I have to tip it. But I'm going to give it a shot first anyway. Everything's going to move. I try and move them. I try and spread them one at a time, or two at a time in this case, to begin with, as best I can so that Everything doesn't move afterwards. It's skewer time. Skewers work really well. Even better than straws sometimes. Or maybe just differently. I'm really liking that so far. I just want to keep going down and I think that's what I'm going to do. give that a little bit of a spread out and it doesn't matter that I still have some paint left over on my spatula. My land portion is going to be very small. If I want to do something to the sky up top, which I still could, I better think about it soon because I'm pretty sure that paint is beginning to dry already. And I might just pick different colors. Shovel stuck right in my paint, but I have such pretty colors, which means I wasn't going to put that on the edge, but I want it right in the middle, so I changed my plan. Now, if I fall short on one side, it's because I'm going to tip toward that direction. Once I get across there, I really don't need an edge catcher in more places. I need a small, I need a whole batch of small edge catchers. This will work. This is perfect. It just goes to prove you can use something really small. Now, if I had an edge catcher on my tile, I would catch anything falling off the rest of these. But right now, I'm not worried about it. I'm just making stripes. Pretty colored stripes. Happy, happy pretty colored stripes. Let's go a little bit more. Whoops, wrong side. Got my fingers in the paint. Go figure.
And I'd kind of like to fill in over here, but I guess the truth is I've got a pan full of colors. It doesn't matter what I want, I've got colors to do it with. I don't need to blow things around. Although, the temptation still exists. I'll tip that down first, and then over. Yes, and I didn't use a straw, but I did use my breath. That is pretty cool. That's beautiful. Makes me want to put part... Yeah, I'm going to do that. As long as things are copacetic. Oh, I found some of the magenta. I'm almost to the point where I've used up my colors. I'm taking a chance here making a, a ring pour-esque type dribble into it. Playing fast and loose with paint again. My favorite. I think. I like the solid colors that I pick up more than the dribbles. I'm not sure I have a choice anymore though. Tis what it is. Oh wow. So I will have only been done with this. Come on. I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. And should you want to be in touch with me, use my email address. It's right under the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link under the video. And it's a good place to um, find my Amazon link. If you want to help me out, shopping my Amazon link is a good way to do so. I'm having trouble <laughs> negotiating now that I've gotten myself distracted. But I think I can... Oh, I like the odd shaped cloud. You know what? That was not a mistake. Well, it might have been a slightly accidental, but it wasn't a mistake. I'm pretty much out of the picture for a moment. And I'm going to hope that I have enough paint left to make that go across. And if I don't, I'm going to grab it and use my OXO, excuse me, use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas because I've got some pretty color left right in my shovel and I know that if I put it right into the puddle look how pretty that is looks like a Peter Max design showing my age as I used to love those black and white color and marker friendly calendars or whatever they were because my dad would get paper samples he worked at General Electric in the Art department. He actually was the head of the art department at General Electric. On and off for 40 years. Oh, I've got some more on my edge catcher too. But this has got to go all the way across. And I'm going to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you and then worry after that about Oh, the last minute. There's a monthly drawing that helps support the studio and the production of videos. And if you want to be in it, look for the PayPal icon on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. And use it to make a donation. And when I see your email confirmation from PayPal that you've done so, I will be able to enter you automatically in that drawing. And you can see the prizes included at the beginning of the exhibition video on the end screen of all my recent videos. And I'm, I usually put them on all the videos, but right at the moment, it's um, it's only a couple, it's only a week or ten days. It's less than ten days away from the end of the month because I was delayed <laughs> in August. Um, but I'm alive. So, what do I want to do with that? Do I want to put some other color up there? I kind of do. 